Hi, hi. Want better frames, less lag, and smoother gameplay in Counter-Strike 2? Then this is the video for you. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card and still playing with default settings, you're leaving performance on the table. I'm going to show you how to optimize everything, NVIDIA control panel settings, windows tweaks, and in-game config, so you can maximize FPS and minimize input lag. And I'll explain why each setting matters, so you understand what you're doing, not just copying numbers. Let's start with something important. CS2 is built on Valve's Source 2 engine. This is a major step up from the old Source engine used in CSGO for over a decade. It brings better lighting, physics, and support for modern hardware. But it's also more demanding. Your old setup might not give you the same smooth 300 FPS you were used to, and that's why we need to optimize every setting to get back to that competitive edge. All right, first things first, open your NVIDIA control panel. Just right click on your desktop and click NVIDIA control panel if you don't see that option. Make sure your drivers are up to date using GeForce Experience. It's free and manages your GPU drivers for you. Once the control panel is open, click on Manage 3D Settings. You'll land on the Global Settings tab. These settings apply to all games on your system. Unless we override them later, we're going to do that. So it's good to get the best defaults in place. Let's go through the most important settings you need to change. And I'll explain why for each one. Image Sharpening. Turn this off. I know it sounds like it would help visuals, but in CS2, it can actually cause visual glitches, weird halos around players and edges, and you don't want that. Anisotropic filtering. Leave this at application controlled. CS2 can handle it fine on its own, and forcing it here can create conflicts. Anti-aliasing FXAA, turn this off. FXAA smooths out jugged edges, but it blurs everything, including your targets. That's a big no for competitive games, where spotting a pixel can mean the difference between a win and a loss. CUDA GPUs, set this to all. You want your GPUs doing all the heavy lifting. Low latency mode, turn it on. This one's a game changer. It reduces the queue between when you press a button and when it registers on screen. Especially helpful if you're playing on a high refresh rate monitor. Max frame rate, turn this off. You want your frame rate uncapped unless you're dealing with overheating or screen tearing. Power management mode, set to prefer maximum performance. This prevents your GPU from underclocking or throttling itself to save power. Shader cache size, leave it on driver default, only changes if you're experiencing a specific stuttering issue. Texture filtering, quality, set this to high performance. This one literally tells your GPU to prioritize frames over beauty, perfect for CS2. Threaded optimization, on. CS2 benefits from multi-threaded rendering, and this lets your G CPU and GPU work together better. Vertical sync, off. Always, VSync introduces input lag, and in CS2, every millisecond counts. Triple buffering, off. It only matters if you use VSync, and you shouldn't once you've changed all that. Click apply at the bottom. Now, if you want these settings to apply only to CS2 and not every game you play, go to program settings tab, right click next to global, click add, and look for cs2.exe. If it doesn't show up, click browse and find the executable manually in your Steam library under Steam apps slash common slash Counter-Strike 2. Once added, you can repeat all the same settings there. This gives you game-specific performance while leaving other games untouched. Next, go back to the main panel and click Adjust Image Settings with a preview. You'll see a spinning 3D model. Ignore him for now. Just make sure use the Advanced 3D Image Setting is selected and hit Apply. This lets the system know to actually use all the custom tweaks you just made instead of falling back to automatic mode. Now, here's one a lot of people overlook, especially on laptops. If you have both integrated graphics like Intel or AMD and a dedicated NVIDIA card, you need to make sure the game is actually using the NVIDIA GPU. In Manage 3D settings, look for Preferred Graphics Processor, set it to High Performance NVIDIA Processor. Without this, your game might literally be running on the weaker integrated chip. Massive FPS drop. Okay, quick Windows level setting to check. Type Graphics Setting into your Windows search bar and open it. Scroll down to Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. If this is turned on, try turning it off. Counter-Strike 2 tends to perform better with it disabled, though it can vary by system. I recommend testing both ways, but most players report smoother input with it off. 
Let's launch the game now and adjust in-game settings. This part is just as important. First, set your resolution to your monitor's native resolution, usually 1920 by 1080 for 1080p users. I know that pros, even non-pros, including myself, use the stretched 4.3, and that's totally fine if it's your style, it is mine, but you lose peripheral vision and clarity. I like it because it will make things wider. Um, most people will advise it. Let's stick to native for now, unless you have the preference. Turn off multi-sampling, uh, multi anti-aliasing, it's a performance hog and barely helps with visuals in CS2. Set shadow quality to low or medium. Shadows help you spot enemies sometimes, but you don't need them super detailed. Uh, model and texture details, low or medium, depending on your GPU. If you're using a 3000 series card, medium is safe. Shader detail, low. All it does is add glow and light effects, you can skip it. Boost player contrast, yes, turn this on. It helps enemies stand out against the background. V-Sync, definitely off. Motion blur, off, always off. It just makes turning feels mushy. Um, Multi-threaded rendering enabled. This lets your CPU and GPU work together more efficiently. Let's see, ambient occlusion off. It adds realistic shadows, but it's pointless in a competitive match and kills FPS. Now let's add some launch options. Go back to Steam, right click CS2, go to properties and look for launch options. Paste this line in. Plus FPS underscore max space 400 space dash or the minus symbol and O V I D. This removes the intro video and lets your FPS run freely up to 400, which is great for high refresh monitors. Now for some quick troubleshooting tips, just in case your performance still feels off. First, make sure you've restarted your PC after changing the Nvidia settings. They don't always apply until a reboot. Next, keep your drivers updated. Even if you just did it last month, newly updates can massively affect how CS2 performs. And don't forget to check for your BIOS updates. That fixed my problems. If you're still getting FPS drops, open Task Manager and look at what else is using your GPU. Browser tabs with videos, Discord overlays, RGB software, even Spotify visualizers, they can eat up resources. I know when I'm streaming sometimes, um, I will open up Spotify and it has this, it's been playing music videos, but you can turn that off and that it like really helps. Finally, you can check your FPS in game by enabling the developer console and typing CL underscore show FPS space one. That will show you a live counter so you can see in real time if your tweaks worked. All right, that's it. You've just optimized your NVIDIA GPU and in-game CS2 settings for smoother, cleaner, lower latency gameplay. These tweaks make a real difference. You'll feel the difference in your crosshair, in your flicks, and in every clutch moment. Good luck, have fun. I wish you many ELO.